Hi, Paper Crafters, Kim Ferguson. I'm here for Mother's Day Monday, and this is going to be a layout for a Mother's Day breakfast we had at Sherry's. So, uh, you know, for years, my boys made breakfast for me, but, you know, they're, they're adults now, and they live away from home, and my oldest is married, and there's a grandson, so, you know, the morning breakfast in bed doesn't happen anymore, but we try to meet up and, and do breakfast or brunch or something. So that's, this is kind of the breakfast that started, you know, just the new season that we're in. And uh, just feel blessed anytime that we can, of course, get together. It's so limited now, right? I mean, we all feel that, but, um, you know, this was a time that we were still able to go out and uh at breakfast together and today google chose the number 37 which is my pre-cut shaped cardstock and so this is from my stash of creative memories <laughs> cut pre-cut pieces so trying to use up that box in fact where is that this is it here and i still have a ton see how much is in there <laughs> so it's going to be a long time since it until it is empty but at least i'm you know picking away at it and trying to get in there and use them so just so much stuff that you know i've i've collected over the years and need to get it in scrapbooks or you know make cards or just get it used somehow and so i did edge distress things with my close to my heart charcoal so just to kind of give it a shadow and yes the sun is coming in so that wasn't a complaint but i like to get my pages or my um videos done usually before my walk if i can and now that says light later <laughs> you've got the sun coming in so hopefully that's not too bad right where you need to see the layout so we'll give this a try and uh but if it's not gonna work it's not gonna work but uh i i've, I've waited i've been waiting and waiting for the sun to get out of the way it's like i need to get this done so i can move on so i'm going to measure this up just to try to have them evenly spaced so let's go up what is it going to be an inch an inch and a quarter maybe doesn't really matter just as long as it's even i need to figure it out before that adhesive grabs and so let's yep it's already grabbing isn't it mm. this one is not so much so let's move this one up Hopefully the ripped paper will be underneath where we need to put that down. Far better than using ATG, but still. Okay, there we go. So like I say, hopefully that'll cover that up. Come on. Show the people that the wet adhesive is flexible <laughs> okay just a little bit right there okay there we go good enough right good enough i'm always saying this isn't rocket science this is a scrapbook layout all right so bacon <laughs> i love me some bacon and i always get bacon when i go to sherry's so i thought that was great and then i was trying to find a color that went with it so i figure these go together pretty complimentary and in my picture there is my daughter-in-law is wearing a green sweatshirt and the bushes in the background are a color similar to this so the pictures tie in very well with this so i'm happy with the choices let's go ahead and put this down so i think i used pretty similar colors for the uh, Bigfoot layout where I had to use the pre
pre-cut pieces too but they should not be right next to each other in an album anyway so it's going to be just fine it's one thing to remember if you're not working in chronological order there is the risk of that but i i'm okay if it happens it happens i just need to get stuff scrapbooked okay i'm i'm not doing like a set measurement but i'm trying to at least line this up to where i'm getting it straight and i'll show you here in just a second what else i'm trying to do i really do want this see how i don't want it in there i want it to come down and be off the page I want it to be off of that a little bit off the checkered one is that gonna do it yeah not as much as I was originally hoping but that's that's okay I don't know do I like that I was kind of hoping it'd be more let me see how my it says I have two pictures matted here Hmm. That's that's okay. I'm okay with that. Because I have embellishments that'll go down too. And again, we're doing this to use up our supplies and get our pictures scrapbooked. And that came in at four, correct? Four, one, two, three. Nope, it was a five. So I'm just using the lines that are on my ruler. So it came in by five. And then just trying to put this down to where it hangs over fairly equally. And this. I don't think that sun's doing too bad for us. Okay, and then let's see what one, two, three, four, five, so then. Right. So that does like one, two, three, four, yeah, five. <laughs> counting and counting. I want this to is that five up? One, two, three. Yes. Close enough. Once again. And then try to equally over the sides and there we go so if you put it this way it looks like trees all right so there's that and then i want my pictures to go here and again not showing the photos but i did pop them up on fun foam oh somebody is barbecuing i can smell it, it smells so good advantage of having our windows open when you get to smell people's uh, fire pits I love that smell too and uh, barbecue I did just happen to purchase one of those like tabletop barbecues with the propane tanks after we had the power outage for five days it was one of the things we needed to put on our you know, kind of our emergency supply shelf in the garage because we didn't have one. We have a gas range so we could heat up things that way, but the oven doesn't work, of course, because it's a digital read, you know, everything's done digitally, digitally. <laughs> 
So we learned with that experience. So there was one evening that our neighbors cooked burgers for us because they had the barbecue and then we could do things on our stovetop. So we made it work and then you know, we could take a shower because we had gas water heater. So that's what that barbecue is reminding me of. <laughs> is that, oh yeah, I, I could do that now. Okay, so then I have some breakfast items. And these are old stickers. Um, I want to say these are probably like the Sticko brand that you can get from a Walmart. Um, but I will tell you, I had a hard time getting them off. In fact, I had to repair a couple of them because the paper layer of the sticker ripped off of the sticky back. So just be aware, you guys, these older products that we have sitting around, um, we're taking, you know, jeopardizing the fact that we can use them. I guess worst case scenarios, I could have cut them off with the plastic as well, but they, no harm, no foul. I mean, they, they came together okay. I was also considering using some doodle bug bacon and eggs, but I do have the papers that go with these, so I chose not to. So I put those back over here to be filed away. And they'll go on another layout someday. Okay, so then I have lots of breakfast things. So what I did, because they are a clear sticker, um, meaning, well, not really clear, but since they're so flimsy, I went ahead and I put them on cardstock and then I fussy cut them out to give them more stability. Number one, because they were ripping. And then number two, they were you know, kind of flimsy and I don't know how they would have done on this layout just to glue them down. So anyway, that was my choice to do that. And then I have some uh, foam adhesive here that I'm going to use. Get a sneak peek at my daughter-in-law's head. <laughs> so I want the bacon or the frying pan with the eggs. I have some toast and the bacon that I want to go up here. And then I have some syrup, some pancakes, a waffle, and bacon for here. And then I do have a brunch menu, more pancakes, bacon, and waffle. And so I don't want those to be right across from each other. I thought I would kind of do this to give myself that visual triangle. And then I'll put my title up there. So let's see, because I want, I know I definitely want to layer things. So here's brunch menu. Um, so I wanted to do some things flat and some things popped up. So I want the brunch menu to be flat. Tweezers. My little clip. There's the, this will not, you know, the clip will be gone when I go to take the, this off my photos. And I don't usually do that until after I've taken my photo for my my thumbnail for my video. And so yeah, what I do is after I get the layout created, I snap a picture real quick. I download it and then I go into the Canva, C-A-N-V-A program and I make my thumbnails there. And so between my new video equipment, which is directly linked to my computer, I don't do anything with my phone anymore because I, I hear other people, it's very frustrating. There is not enough storage on our phones. My phone would record it upside down or sideways and I'd have to save it again with the rotated version and then there wasn't enough storage space to create you know to save the second version unless I deleted everything all the time so I got so frustrated with that so that's when I switched over to my computer cameras and I have a microphone that's right here it's just changed everything because it just records right onto my desktop. I create the thumbnail and then I upload to YouTube. 
it's it's as easy as as me saying it so i always put in my description below the links to the equipment that i use and um there is it is available on amazon and then also from staples and what is it home deep or not home depot office depot is that the one that's still open so shop around but if you want anything from amazon i i do have an affiliate link so it doesn't cost you any more but it you know it's just seen by the affiliate program and recognizes that you know i am talking to you about amazon and links to it it helps me out if you do purchase something just gives them notification that yeah she's serious about this but you have to click on my affiliate link and you have to shop once you do that and not click on anybody else's otherwise it, it just goes to the next person so whoever the last person is that you click on that's who gets recognized so i do notice that people click but um no purchases yet so so that's okay you know it is what it is and uh there's a trial basis and i'm almost over my trial base so that's just a temporary thing so that's the only reason why i'm saying something because if you've thought about doing something to help support me then i would appreciate that but it hasn't happened yet so the two ways to support me um that doesn't cost you anything out of your pocket and it's, if it's going to be purchases you're going to do anyway are through my ctmh maker website i am a consultant for them and uh you know we just get a, a commission but it doesn't like i said it doesn't cost you any more and then the affiliate link through amazon because it's going to take me a long time to build up my youtube channel to where it was i used to be at 2000 subscribers and i was at about 3500 viewing hours before i deleted it because of the threat of the copa rules so it just makes me sick when I really think about those statistics. <laughs> but it is what it is. So it's all right. Rebuilding. The important thing is, is that this is not a burden to me. I, I get my teaching done for the day and I look so forward to creating. And then I look forward to creating for you and doing videos. So honestly, it's 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 my it's my love i love i love doing this so you won't hear me talk about those affiliate things often i i don't i'm not a salesperson but i just do know how it it would help me but never never any pressure at all so so you just see how i'm just building up these little embellishment spots i'm wondering if i can get one of these small ones if i can cut it in half so tiny let's see maybe and now it's so stuck to my finger there we go so last comment. So if you click on my affiliate links below and say you don't want to purchase the particular things that my links are below, it's just the fact that you clicked on my affiliate link and then you go do your own shopping, that still works. You don't have to buy the things that I'm suggesting. It's just that you your last click was to my affiliate link. Hope that makes sense. There we go. Okay. And I'm not going to put any adhesive on here because this does go over the photo. And up in the corner here is just sky. So that'll be fine once I take this covering off. So there's our eggs of frying up. And then I have some toast. And I'm just going to put an adhesive dot there because I'm going to have it laying over the edge of my fry pan so i'm going to put a little bit of glue here so it'll adhere to that fry pan i 
and the fry pan's ripped right there, but that's all right. I did glue it down. Okay, and then I have some bacon. I'm gonna put the bacon over here. So let's see, I'll maybe pop that there and then I'll glue that down. Oh, my voice kind of is getting shaky, isn't it? Feeling fine. Okay. So it kind of just creates a kind of a corner frame there. Okay, so now we are to the title. So there's my embellishments. In embellishments? I didn't say, I did not say that right. I, did, I th think I said like in, in smellish, in smellishments. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I say. <laughs> High school educator here. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to try to say breakfast at Sherry's. So I was going to try to build the word breakfast with the green, use an A and T from this, and then Sherry's with this because the Sherry's letters are red. So let's see how this goes. These are pretty big letters. <laughs> so that's, that's going to be really big across there. Yeah, that's going to be pretty big. Okay, well, let's start building it backwards. Let's see, how does that look coming out from behind that? Can you still tell that it's a T? I think so. I'm going to have to move it down so I can see. I don't want to really go up above it needs to really be anchored so let's just do it here it's going to go off my page i mean off the the mat it's going to be bigger than that now i'm spelling backwards we'll see how this turns out and I'm, I'm putting them really close together on purpose because I already know that it's going to extend off of my photo mats because I picked large stickers, but I just didn't find anything else in the right colors because I haven't really been a big title creator. I, I have a lot, but I, I don't have a lot of good things to use. So even if it kind of goes off, if that's not the correct way to do it, we need to just be like, well, at least I have a title, right? Because that hasn't been the case until recently. That's probably a little bit crooked, but that's all right. And I had all the letters. That's awesome. That just shows you that I haven't really been using them. And these were creative memories. These are pretty old. There we go. All right. So then at breakfast, I thought I put the at right there. I'm going to use the capital A. So maybe even kind of turn it with this, the shape of the frying pan, capital A, and then I'll use a little t. And like I guess I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit to go with the curvature of the frying pan. So breakfast at, and then I have to open this, so pardon the noise. And then I thought I would go Sherry's. And then I take the labels off, so I, I don't know where these stickers are from. And Sherry's is kind of in a script. 
So this was as close as I had to a script that would work as I had. So S. H. The, the part I hate about not being able to show you my photos is, is how they do tie in color wise with how I plan my pages. But like I said, my daughter-in-law has on a green hoodie or sweatshirt. Ooh, that would have been awful. And um, the bushes in the background have the colors that match the bacon. Is there a little R? I see a capital R. Why isn't there? Oh, right here. Okay. Almost looks like an N, but we're going to make it an R. Cause it's got that little whoop de doo so okay and then I and we do go to Sherry's quite often in fact one of their employees that well not since COVID but one of their employees we kid with them that he's he's our he's a part of our adopted family Think he's adopted us just as much as we've adopted him. Okay, and then the S. And Sherry's has an apostrophe. So let's see, what can I use for an apostrophe? I think the Q is awfully long on the inside. I'm going to cut part of that off to put the apostrophe. Oh, it's in the, oh, it's all a solid piece. Oh, interesting. Okay, how about some of the end of the capital Z? That'll work. Just need a little bit. I bet you I won't even recognize that when I, if I ever go to use that Z. How often do we use a capital Z? All right, so breakfast at Sherry's. There is my Mother's Day Monday layout for breakfast out celebrating. And I've used some older stickers. I use foam adhesive. I use my pre-cut shapes from my cardstock stash. So yeah, excellent. And there's a title and the, this will come off and the pictures are there and we will be done. Oh, uh, wait, you know what I thought I might be able to do? Well, I don't know the exact date. I was gonna say I could stamp the date right there. Maybe I'll do that later on when I go look up the date to kind of fill, fill in right there so the, the B, R, and E are not just floating. So I hope you like that. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a great Monday, and I hope the rest of your week goes well. And I want to thank you for being here, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.